This episode of Steezo Radio was brought to you by Gadget Geeks. Gadget Geeks, located in the South Loop at 620 South Dearborn. Gadget Geeks offers full service repairs on electronics from cracked phone screens, computer viruses, hardware damage, and more. Ask for the Steezo Radio special and receive a free diagnostic and a 90 day warranty on your service. Visit GeekMyGadgets.com or call 312-255-7505 for more information. Gadget Geeks, geek your gadgets today. Steezo Radio is for adults only. Show where we go toe to toe. Hot topic dropping knowledge straight from Chicago. And it's our point of view. So tell me what you gonna do. Drop a line, don't be lying, trying to get with the crew. Cause we be talking them facts, exposing them fiction. Man, it's so real that we be causing some friction. Probably something you missing. Ain't no need to be dissing. Just relax here and listen because we spitting the symptoms. This is a radio show. This is a radio show. Nigga, Nola Fox, Flint the Pimp, Ricky Bobby Shorty got him, Ancient Kirk, and Remy. Alright, y'all, welcome back. You are something else. <laughs> to another episode of Steezo Radio. Yeah, baby, we live. <laughs> you knew I was gonna do it. I can't help it. Yeah. Dan is the man with the kitchen 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 kitchen. Yeah, baby, we live. Yeah, uh, great value, J. Cole. Great value, J. Cole. Is great value, J. Cole here? He ain't. Oh, yeah, baby, we live. All right, let's get to these intros, man. Go. It's the first lady of the podcast, Nola Fox. It's your man, Angie Kurt. It's Sam Nicky. The new guy, international. That's true, bro. The boy Shell, man. What's that? All right. For those who listen on the regular, you already know what a freestyle show is. And you're probably happy that this is a freestyle show. I said it's going to be a control freestyle, but you know, man. All bets are off. Who? No, they, they don't pay us yet. All right. Who want to start this off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm petty as hell. I told you. I'm petty as hell. Oh, shit. Ancient. And on. now, a time for an ancient moment. I have not been able to get that you're not my kind of girl out my fucking head. Like, that is From the new edition shit? Yeah. Yes, dog. No, I can't. I, I can't. Bro, you gotta check that out. I was. I, hey, look, I was in denial. I'm like, no, I'm finna watch that shit. I lived through that shit. Wait, you was an R- you, you R&B dude. You wasn't couldn't watch that movie? But, yeah, I wasn't gonna watch that movie. Really? You killer, bro. Cause they've been fucking up the documentaries. Yeah, but they yeah. I feel you on that one. You know I feel you on that one. They did pretty good with this. You know yeah, pretty you know, good. They did excellent. I always wonder why the fuck Bobby Brown was wilding the fuck out like that. But he been in show business forever. Mm. He ain't know nothing. Yeah, yeah he was the only child. Oh, so 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 slow, 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 down. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. Slow down. Slow down. He been a motherfucker though. I'm the only child. You can't oh, be. Man, you also wanted your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you like hey, hey, you know. And you named it Steezo Radio. Hey, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? It's my prerogative. You know what I'm saying? I can do what I want to do. Wavy haired nigga. But it was no, because then I lost my hair. That's what? how Sam said. You know. It's he, longevity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I live my life. Live my life. <laughs> Niggas on I like that though. I finally watched it, so y'all know I finally watched the. Uh, twice. No, I watched it three times. See? That day I watched it twice. Cause I you know I, I just got to do that. That's cause you ain't got cable. That shit is good. <laughs> you a hater. Adult life together. I got cable. What no, I don't have is memories of me, Mikasa, Mukasa. So I, that's what I don't have is no memories life. of hanging out in somebody's garage and thinking I was at the club. That's what I don't have. You don't have a life. <laughs> I know, y'all was up in that garage getting it in. No way, man. <laughs> I was getting more money. Yeah. I was back when Bell Bottles was popular. <laughs> Bell Bottles. Three decades ago. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, right. Bro, yeah, almost two decades. Whew. But yeah, that was, that, was, that, was, that was a good movie. I ain't gonna lie. I like that uh, new edition uh, biopic. Yeah, I like that. 
I ain't seen it. So, yeah. Oh, well, it's two I black people. Shout, I ain't seen it. Right, oh, yeah. You haven't seen it either? International? You haven't seen it? No. Hey, what pissed me off, though? I'm going to watch it. I recorded it, though. And I put New Edition Radio in, and it don't really play anything but Bobby Brown. Because you got to pay. No, they, they have a New Edition list, because I was bumping it. But you got to pay to hear the real good shit. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, that never my money. yeah that, nah, I'm not paying for Pandora. Is that Pandora. what they do with R. Kelly? Because when you go to R. Kelly radio, that's the same thing. No, they got a law. They can't play molesters that long. <laughs> hey. Petsy, 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 Petsy. They can't because you never know how old the listeners hey, are. You go to everybody else's podcast, <laughs> we, uh, uh, fucking radio show, like you go to Trey Songs or you go to mm-hmm. like, Jeremiah or, or, or what's the other nigga name? Or Marion. All of them play R. Kelly. Like, don't they pick these songs? Yes, they do. That's how they're supposed to go. They like, do. Oh, that's what I got to do. That yeah. they like. R. Kelly on everybody's shit. Because I put in Jackson 5 one day and they played a bunch of new edition shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was a little shocked. That's I'm like, what you got to do with Jackson 5. Jackson 5 got a bunch of music, but it was all new edition. I think I don't want to hear, like, I'll be honest with you, I'm a Jackson 5 fan, but that can you feel the song is very fucking annoying because I always picture the video. I'm like sprinkling shit off the fucking. Oh, with, with, with the wax? Uh... Yeah. Sprinkling uh... it. Oh, that's what that is. You know that's about about uh, busting nuts on people's faces and shit. Now, where you get that from? Yeah. Listen to the lyrics and watch the video. <laughs> I don't want to hear I'm that. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to tell you. You know, that's what hey, it now was. Now it all makes the king. Right. Can you feel it? That's I'm can telling you. you feel it? One of my friends was like, look at Mike throwing his gay rainbow juice there. <laughs> rainbow yeah. juice. And that was a wax figure. They said Mike, Mike and somebody else didn't show up for that shoot. So they used a wax figure. Ain't that like And somebody Michael. else used their arms. Mm. Yeah. Doom, 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 yeah. Doom. That's my shit. But it's, it's a lot of songs y'all don't know the real meaning behind, though. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised. I like how they keep bringing up how Prince had, like, the realest halftime show in Super Bowl history. Prince? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's like, hey, fuck Lady Gaga. <clears throat> Prince held it down. Like, that was Yeah. Shit, I miss Prince. Yeah, but it's too. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I miss Prince. Like he was, he was a real pimp. He was a real performer and a pimp. And you know what I'm saying? A leprechaun. That's why he was. And taught himself how to play all them instruments. He did what? He was self-taught. Yeah, old yeah, man was yeah. He taught how to read music, but he taught himself how to read all them fucking, how to play all the instruments. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Prince. I miss Prince more than I miss Michael Jackson. You know when I really miss Prince, I always call Lucky Luciano. Really? Yeah, because he reminds me. Of Prince. <laughs> I see that. Because of the what? Look at him. Oh, <laughs> Prince? Yeah, Look I see that. Even yeah, he's smoking I... squares. Like he's smoking squares like this. <laughs> but he just had he that. He looks like he was smoking squares. If he smoked, like he smoked and would say blouses. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want some pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Luciano though. Yeah, he ain't been over here in a minute. All right, so anybody feeling good? Anybody feeling feeling great? Anybody, you know? I'm yeah, like, baby, we live. Lately, like, I'm going to need that mother to keep that party moving. Who, 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 who you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nola got a brand new uh, a fan brand new base. Bag. She got a new yeah. bag she coming out of. Like, like right now, if we was in contract negotiation time, yeah. she would be the diva, you know, saying she need her own trailer. Oh, because, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. Franchise, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Your car would be worth more than everybody's. Hell yeah, and they'd be cussing me out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy gonna say it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nola been hot. Like for the long, it, it, it was a Nola ancient, ancient had it for a minute with, with the, the stories. You no, know, you had it for no, a minute. You, you know what I'm saying? You had it for a minute. And you lost it. <laughs> that baby was in the womb. No, <laughs> oh, that's not the baby. That's 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 that self low self esteem. <laughs> Why do you keep attacking ancient <laughs> for low self esteem? Pop me kettle, kettle pop. Cause he sat up here and said the cry. I'm just, just that was just mm-hmm. sound like low self esteem to me. That's 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 not being nice. Okay. Should we go live? Should we go live on Facebook? Tough. We should we go live? Okay, okay. Well, we're not gonna go live on Facebook. I cover my chin because I don't like it. You see the beard. I mean, my we chin. see the beard. I don't like my chin. What's wrong with your chin? Low self-esteem. Okay, see. Hey, what do y'all feel about the beard? 
you know, women. Do y'all? I I've always I'm, <clears throat> I've made every <laughs> man I've ever been with grow one. Grow a beard? Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> You're like, I some think, powerful shit I you got in your mind. Like, huh? hey, you ain't really, you ain't, you ain't he just said it. Grow a beard. What international say? He ain't got no shot with you. Though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she over here ain't growing. I grow no, some dick hair. I got good hair. It can braid up. Though. She got some shit you, know? you rub on your face that's gonna make that shit grow. <laughs> I can bust out that Hawaiian silk. <laughs> you got some shit. She gonna rub right on your chin. You gonna be right all right. Because I've I've, I've been threatened lately that if if I don't cut my beard, somebody's gonna put nair on my face while I'm sleeping. It's gonna burn. It down some? No, she she don't like the beard at all. No I think he would be no the beard, the the the, the goatee and mustache can but, stay, but but the beard. Oh, I like a hot my, face. My ex girlfriend was nearing her legs and rubbed her eye, and this bitch lost all her fucking eyelashes. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a fucking story. No, I got some fucking story. <laughs> oh, that sounds. That sounds like. Somebody drew that shit in. At the end, you gotta cut the other one off to match. Like, ain't no, no, she, no she said hot. His eyelash. Both Oh, the eyelash. eyelash. Yeah. yeah, not the eyebrow. Oh, my God. So okay. she can protect her eyes from any dust and particles that's getting up in there. She's just. <laughs> Just bear. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you. She's practicing her pain from a medical standpoint. <laughs> I'm just saying. She went clinically better. The okay. allergens were getting to her. Own. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I heard. I think I was probably 16 or 17. You know, I got older cousins. So no, no, no. It, well, yeah, it might be. So she was telling me about a friend of hers. And, you know, they was fucking with industry guys or whatever. So, Coolio, that, that's how long ago this shit was. Coolio was hot. Two decades <clears throat> ago. No, I don't even know. He probably was two decades because Coolio ain't been hot in a minute. But anyway, he had a party going on or whatever. And I guess he had, you know, a, a, a suite or whatever. So, he had, you know, shit going on in this room, shit going on in this room. And this one room was a male stripper for the women to get excited with. So the male stripper was all in this chick face who happened to be one of my cousin's real close friends. And he all in her face, you know, swinging the dick all in her, you know, and she loving it. Then all of a sudden she just goes down like, ah, my eye. So everybody thinking he popped in the eye with his dick. Well, after they went to the hospital, he had crabs. (gasps) And one of the crabs went in her eye. Oh, my God. And was eating under her eyelid. Because he was trying to find his way out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, to this day, that just still you fucks. fucking up my mood, that, that, that know, just, right? No, I wasn't doing that to fuck up your mood. I'm <laughs> so doing, wasn't doing it not to fuck up my mood. <laughs> no, I was just, you know, y'all. <laughs> cram salad I had at home. <laughs> I went back to Coolio to fuck up my mood. Yeah, because when y'all said the whole I <laughs> thing, fuck. yeah. And like the end of a horror flick. Yeah. I've had quite a few STDs, but I've never had crabs. <laughs> I've never had crabs. So I don't know how crabs really work. Shit I've heard of this show. <laughs> That's some real shit. Yeah. I have a, I have yeah. a hole in my hey. ass and it keeps sticking. You've been fucking with some gingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they they jump. They just pop yeah. off. They just jump like that. That was that was my question. Cause you know yeah. I'm young. You know we sitting. I'm like, wait, the crab. Leaped into her eye, and she like, I oh, guess so, LLG, but LLG, that that's what happened. She I had a crab. Know how they got that shit out of her eye. They mm-hmm. probably numbed mm-hmm. her shit. Like, yeah, to peel it out and <laughs> peel it back, and still gave her ass some antibiotics. Never have to tell yeah. Yeah. stories ever. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I, I thought that was rough, though. I thought that was kind of rough, you know. I, it, well, there is something. What? It's, I mean, do, do you it, tell somebody that? No, it's it's crab still around. Have y'all heard that in the last like two decades? <laughs> I'm Crabs? so serious. They changed the name of rice. That's, I mean, that's like the. I don't think motherfuckers is telling new stories. Did you say lice? Like, ain't that the same shit? Crabs and lice? It's no. Pubic no. Lice. Yeah. no. Lice? Well, crabs are pubic lice. It's different. Are they? It's different. I thought that was the same shit. It's different. I thought crabs were different than lice. Yeah, nah, I think because it is I, because different. Because I, I thought I thought lice ate at your body for blood, and crabs just. Lived in clean hair. No, it ain't clean hair. It's they sucking blood too. 
Like, like, like ticks? We yeah. can Google this and just find yeah, yeah. it. Please. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Y'all can have hints for Google. I don't right. want to Google nothing that got nothing to do with the jitters. <laughs> <laughs> no, Google. You Google all you want to. Keep that shit to yourself. I, I, I what, I, know. what I'm saying is, I, have y'all heard that in the that's last? That's why I no. Crabs, crabs, no. Well, no I, I can't, I can't they Google like, have because they died if my girl out? see my history, she going to think I got crabs. <laughs> she going through your phone? You got STDs, mom. <laughs> she don't know that. No, nah, she gonna say you got another because he already you said. Got a new STD. <laughs> what does crabs look like, Google? Yeah, you can't. I don't you even want to know yeah. what that shit looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's come from the same family. They're parasites. Come on, Siri. Siri, Siri life. Life. Say, life. Say, say it again, Shia. The medical term for for the infestation is called. Oh wow. Yeah, the word. Pediaculus pubis. Petty, you got petty in the name? Pediculus pubis. Hell no, I got And the, the parasite name. is <laughs> called <laughs> Pitherus <laughs> pubis. Although pubic lice, crabs, come from the same family of parasites as the head and body lice. Damn. They are not the same thing. Are they different? Yeah, pubic heard. lice could be cured. Well, you know, she could have made the story sound better if she said a lice flew in my eye. They used to you have it. They got the shampoo. You gotta, shave, sh- they got you gotta shave half of your pubic hairs off and put peanut butter in the other half. No, no, Grandma. What? what the fuck? You yeah, the sh- they got a shampoo yeah, in there. Yeah. I swear to God, when I was in high school, that's what I heard. The river. <laughs> <laughs> and I was oh, like, get the fuck out of here. So pe- the devil left me, Joe. That's so peanut butter, butter. People just walk around with peanut butter between peanut their legs. Oh, half they dick hairs. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is that is that like gone like off. polio? <laughs> Did you it know like what? Is it going like polio? It's polio. You right? know what, Nola? I had the same thought about bow leg. When the last time you seen a bow leg person? I seen one. Yeah. Because I see, they I see them often. I seen one really? in the gym what? yesterday. Like yeah, because with the newer kids, they like you know this is a deformity, not a deformity, but like yeah. this is not this is right. They, this is just, right. I don't you see need it to no break more. This. I don't see bow leg no more. Yeah, because it ain't it ain't I mean, hot. I see younger kids. So I see right, not younger, kids. but old. Oh, yesterday. Old kids. When, yeah. when I but, say hey, yesterday, like yesterday, I she got was a right question though. And she was very short. And bow leg? And her knees, I swear to God, she was walking through the parking lot smell smoke. Her knees rubbed. Oh, she was not like, needed. Yeah, that ain't bow leg. With bow leg, yeah, bow leg is out, right? right. Yeah, bow leg when you, you know. She's not needed. I ain't seen bow leg. That's a lot of knock knees women. My daughter's mama's. That's common. Yeah. So knock need is common, but bow legged ain't. Right, why right. Was, why was y'all so crazy about bow legged dudes? Oh, wait. yeah, that's a good question. Why? Why the they had a good walk. And you know, like and, they, and they had a good backstory. Like, you know what I'm saying? Good, they, had, they had a good backstory. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hollywood. You like, I don't know. Somebody started a backstory for a bow legged man, and it just kept on going. Kept it was on. great. Y'all thought they was packing. I don't yeah. know. Don't lie to me. I don't know. You haven't had your whole face yet? <laughs> I never had a bow legged man. But you didn't answer the question about the <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah, gonna. <laughs> a new level of petty today. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the best I just wanted to be known that I have not been petty. <laughs> It on is. this episode, it's, it's yeah. everybody else. We are five minutes into this. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. I'm just I'm saying. Hell no. You know, because y'all always say I'm petty, but y'all taking the um petty rings today. Hey, man, you seen how they, uh, motherfuckers on Facebook is blaming the, the, the Patriots winning on Trump. <laughs> the Patriots winning on Trump, yeah, huh? He, he it's the right thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to I wanna talk Trump about that. Why? Uh, Trump called Julio Jones like you catch another football. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> ass out of here. <laughs> I want to I wanna touch on that because I'm, I'm a little confused. When did rooting for the Patriots mean you wore a Uncle Tom? Yeah, see. That's Trump's team. That's why. That's why. Because it's the white team. See, black people, no, we got to do because, better. Because of Atlanta represents the black, black capital people. so every nigga in the world went for Atlanta but that's why I'm so even confused I even went for Atlanta and At- I don't even care about Atlanta's Atlanta slogan was we will rise again when hey, did we hear that last yeah that confederate flag and <laughs> right I mean, that's that why I'm confused right. still the south, south will rise yeah again. it is it's the same thing you got Atlanta hat on we in the building Atlanta is like the center of slavery. You need to take that off. Like, for First real. of all, Georgia is still going down, down there. Yeah. Oh, Georgia, yeah. It is. Louisiana, Texas, all that. Yeah. Texas, all types of shit. Like, when did black people start rooting for the South? Like, black people like, always have. Yeah. And coming from the South, I should know. I think it's a hate. Yeah, I think that's what it was. A hate for Tom Brady. You got a lot of blacks down there that rock the Confederate flag. 
Well, they're foolish. No, I mean, that's just... Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get that. Because that's all they know. It's a different meaning. It's two different meanings to that flag. What, Dukes of Hazard and what else? No, Dukes of Hazard, that was racist. But it's it posted in Southern Pride. You know what I mean? The Southern Unity. Uh The other side was, nigga, we finna whoop y'all ass with these whips. You know what I mean? So a lot of black people like to... Not a lot. You got some that rock with the flag. That's why I was a little lost. Because it's like, if you would have told me that black people were rooting for Atlanta because they were the underdogs, and blacks have been the underdogs in America, I can get behind that. But to root for them because you felt the Patriots was a white team? Like, every NFL team is a white team. But I think it was just a go against Brady. Yeah, I think it was a hate for Tom Brady. I think it was just a hate Because he's white. And, and, and... Like low key without actually saying it until you said it, it made sense. But the Falcons was an underdog. They called the Falcons. Like yeah, <laughs> that's an underdog it was, team. It was just a promotion to get the strip clubs money until they lost. <laughs> yeah, I heard that the strippers start putting their clothes back on. As soon as they lost, <laughs> as soon as the game was over. Hey, we going yeah. home now. Fuck these tips. To the crib. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was I was I was a little confused on that, and hey, that so came from social media. The most shit that was funny to me was them buses. Right. So like you didn't so, so, oh. Trump, Trump invites them to the inauguration, hey. they like we dying. Y'all yeah. come back. We dying. As soon as they invite can y'all come to the Super Bowl? Here we go, we right here with some wheels. No, shit. but did they say on inauguration day that they was trying to get better because they were having a Super Bowl party? I heard that. Before really? the Super Bowl. Damn. No. Fuck your inauguration. Wasn't no, 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 no. What was the that? Inauguration was the January twentieth. They were they sent the letter that basically they sent the doctor's note on why they wasn't and they coming said to that the inauguration. President that Bush was, was sick, like yeah. damn near on his deathbed. But them motherfuckers showed up. They the showed Bowl. up to the Super they Bowl. Got yeah, but I heard before the Super Bowl team. that they were they that's what they were planning. To be at the Super Bowl. I don't know if this was just Damn. something that somebody said. Yeah, that was something somebody said. Or they the, sent the doctors know. I heard and I heard that. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, is this real? Yeah. Like mm. we can't make it. We down. <laughs> And they look like later, they like, hey, hey, hey. Well, you know, sometimes you want to get better for that party, though, you know? Yeah. The corn said they needed a machine to do that shit. That was weak. They said they couldn't do both. They had to throw the coin in the air. They couldn't flip it with a thumb. They was weak as shit. Have you seen the coins, though? Them bitches die big as hell. Yeah, they be humongous. You can't miss that motherfucker when it hit the ground. Man. That shit was Then when nobody else just throwing a couple quarters down there. And then, like, be honest with you, like, these fucking commercials. Remember back in the day, man, Super Bowl commercials was the shit. Yeah, these was weak. This, this is this weak is as worst. hell, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think the live world was uh, that little black do- that little black boy, Doritos. Don't touch my mama. Don't touch just my about Doritos. Doritos. Yeah, about two <laughs> years ago. Shit I do. Hey, yeah. what was funny to me was the hype that they made up the Snickers commercial about the live commercial and shit. And then dude came up, fucked out the whole commercial and shit, set shit on fire, fucked up the whole set and everything, and then say. You'll fuck up a whole live commercial if you you go home. Oh yeah, yeah. like that shit. Like it was the biggest send off ever. Yeah. Like you never knew what direction that Snickers commercials, commercials is just go. not good anyway anymore. They just not commercials. The more period. Creative people. And they not. I'm just saying it's a bunch of people getting paid for nothing. That Papa John's commercial they got out with the drones and shit crashing into people's houses and mm-hmm. all that type of shit, making fun of the Domino's and pizza and shit. Yeah. Supposed to be delivering pizza with drones. That shit's hilarious. I don't, know. I don't see commercials like that no more. Yeah, I watch them still. We seen some funny ass commercials. commercials in our day though. Oh hell yeah! Where's yeah. the beef? That shit like right there is the when you think commercial, that's the first thing you think. Where, where's the beef? And that was sexual. Yeah. Or yeah. well, even that new commercial <laughs> that's on the radio. You don't never. I put that shit oh, on. Oh, that, that shit live, I put that bro. shit on everything. Yeah, you don't let me like, yeah. Uh-huh. That's live. That was sexual. That's sexual too. Mm-hmm. Put that shit on everything. See, mm-hmm. it's all sublimatory. 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 I don't know sublimatory is a word. I I put that shit on everything. You know what I'm saying? That's a sexual. If I gotta explain it to you, that means you ain't fucking right. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all no, trying to tell you. You didn't screw me now, I'm sorry, oh, because he don't want Because he's too lazy. I ain't fucking Because I'm saying. Explain it to me so I can understand. You cannot like, tell them that because when you tell them that, that means, you, oh, you not getting it good. That's yeah, all that Yeah, then they're going to you know. attack me. Then, right, see. Oh, and tell me him? I'm fucking wrong. Didn't you hear him earlier when I said oh, the can't can't can handle it? And he told me I wasn't getting fucked right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, she said she you sat there and said it when you was in your crown. Now you're in your bill. That was like two episodes ago. 
Like them two decades? <laughs> <laughs> but he been faithful, but he was single 11 years ago. <laughs> See, y'all going in the past. We're not supposed to go in the past. We're not supposed to go in the past. I explained the numbers. Like, what the fuck? She needs to blow the fuck up, bro. She I, hey, I'm hey, saying the man who's on my Facebook page she putting come here to have a life. stuff on let's, 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 But let's touch on that. Let's touch on that. Let's touch on that. Who exaggerates more, men or women? Men. Men. Okay. Now, get out. You know what? I think, I think I think it's different with women. I think women in relationships exaggerate exaggerate more. Say that again. What do you women mean? Women in relationships. So like, if their relationship ain't everything that they you know boasted to be, they uh-huh. embellish a little bit to their friendship. Girl, right? It's like, girl, he took me out to blah blah blah. And that's why they oh, did go there. Oh, women lie more. Period. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think yeah, women lie. Think men no, more. men get caught in their shit more. That's why I think women they lie. lie. No. Women lie. <laughs> I don't get caught lie. Shit, but I know I lie more. People lie. The thing is, what men you men embellish. Caught, y'all lie. like See? telling stories, so y'all shit talkers by nature to me. Pretty so fun. you just sit up and <laughs> tell dude. these lavish stories. Yeah, you know that fox. y'all know that that are shit not. Shit talk. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We we got one going. Go ahead. That y'all know that's not really that's not really true. The whatever. stories that the men tell yeah. are not true. Yeah, because they're they're. I'm not gonna say they're not true, but they're highly. Some of them are highly embellished. I e some that we heard tonight. Niggas <laughs> 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 I know lie on their dick, like for real. Oh well, that's that's just what that, that right there just, just puts us into a higher did. category all day long. I, I don't. Women lying I don't. On I don't lie on my dick. It, I, it's a lot of niggas. You, Man. but you oh, have no. before. You did it once. No, no, I have it. I'm gonna you tell you. Never lie on your dick at all. No, my uncle told me if you lie on your dick, it will shrink. Oh God! We was about nine years old. Damn, he from the you, south, ain't he? You lied on your dick. Yeah. Who? Yeah. You ain't hear him just a little while ago. I, I've always been the kind of man that, like he says, <laughs> Uncle told me shit. I learned from other niggas. Mistakes. Yeah. I, I've lied. I I, t- I took it as we kissed. I sucked the titties. So technically, we fucked. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? hey, I was like nineteen, twenty. <laughs> on the stage, I seen a nigga before lie about fucking a chick, and then the chick came back with what? some STD. Oh, wait a and it minute. was like, nah, you got that shit. He like, but no, I ain't fuck. I was just lying. Yeah, and that's like, why I didn't I just realized like a long time ago that that shit just ain't all straight up to be. That's cool. What the fuck? <laughs> he said he was lying. 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 In his mind, they got down. Hey, my shit was wet down. Now. You know, I had three comes. He fucked. Just say, you came. Right. He got some time. He said he fucked. His dick is what matter. His dick said we fucked. We fucked. But that's the only reason why. You know, like, a lot of shit got stopped for me. So I, yeah. I couldn't have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean. I, had, I actually been in a room. Like, I remember, you know how you, motherfucking parents gone. Uh-huh. Chicks invite you over and it's a chick and a guy in every room and shit. Or they stick you in the closet. That type of shit back in the day. And motherfuckers be oh, no. never in the closet. You didn't have a life. <laughs> I tell you that. And if I stick him in no damn closet. Yeah, I didn't do the closet. Nobody's going to the closet in the birds. So I ain't going to even lie to you. Yeah. So my mother used to go in like We had catch a girl, fuck a girl in the city. Same type yeah, of shit, though. Same yeah. type of shit, but if you end up in like the basement by yourself or the closet with the chick. I'm talking about with a chick. Yeah, we had apartment. Oh. We, 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 we had apartments. Right. We had so no like, basement. So like, I, I've been in a room with a girl, <laughs> and all she did was fucking talk to me the whole time. Mm-hmm. And then we come up out of there, and she like, girl, it was good. What the fuck? <laughs> like I didn't do nothing, but I had to. As a gentleman, back back when I gave a fuck, I just you know <laughs> rolled with what she was talking about. He, but I ain't he fuck. gave he remember, he gave a fuck back then. But remember when you got left in the, he been uh, single. The I mean he ain't been cheating. Yeah. Crawl space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey hey hey! This is not an ancient interrogation. We ain't interrogate. We done with the interrogation part. We just trying to piece together the stories now. I told you niggas a long time ago that I was not. I used to be an R and B nigga singing, write poetry, and talk on the phone with girls. But but he's young. Go ahead. ahead, He's so young. I want his. Some of his stories can be validated. He he ran in the streets with me. Everything he's saying is not fake. The shit's again, valid. I'm with you, and again, he ain't nobody 40. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be 40 to have. What I mean, motherfuckers <laughs> live? They act like they they <laughs> live, and then he said live to ed. I, nah, I just, like, I, I, hold up. See, 
my my this perception of shit is different. Yeah, it is y'all. weird. Yeah. No, this is weird to me because y'all y'all, 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 y'all learn how to do math and it still ain't adding. Yeah, I I jumped off the porch a little early. I ran behind older cats, so I had a little bit more exposure than motherfuckers my age. So it's like shit I've done years ago. Motherfuckers my age are just now doing. I remember a bunch of motherfuckers. They had to be about your age. They probably about fifty. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and I had to make sure that they knew I was talking. Mm-hmm. And we was all in the after work. I worked with a whole bunch of owners. They mm-hmm. had two whole pints of that uh, Signals Gin Limon, right? Oh, so they kept sending two bottles around. Everybody in the circle, and I'm drinking. Everybody drinking. I'm drinking. Everybody drinking. Come to find out, I'm the only one drinking this one bottle. But they keep passing this motherfucker. Like you keep passing. come back to me fast as hell, right? It's my first time like really drinking with niggas. You know what I'm saying? You I got. Fuck, I got so fucked up. That was that Bacardi Lamont. No, nigga, this was Seagull's Gin. This was Bumpy Face. They had it in the lemon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. so fucked up I don't that I woke that up, shit. nigga. We got out of work at 2 yeah. 30, all right? Mm-hmm. I woke up at 7 30 at night in the backseat of my car in a parking lot. I could not remember where the fuck I was at. But they got me drunk on purpose. These are a bunch of old niggas. Ever since then, I could hold my liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like, What was the purpose? They was breaking me in. Did you wake up with pants? <laughs> yeah, because I was a little worried. <laughs> what the fuck? I, 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 that's why I asked, what, what, what was the purpose? That's a woman's shit. That's a woman's shit. What, no, what was, was the purpose? To, I was trying to get, what I'm saying is. I'm just saying, you say it's that a bunch of niggas out. got you drunk. We hung out with older niggas, and older niggas would teach you some shit either by directly teaching you or you learn from their mistakes. Oh, yeah. Like, I was kicking it with 30 year old niggas when I was 20, 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't passing that lesson out in my 30s. I wasn't trying to get no 19 year old drunk. But your whole situation yeah, see, is different, is though. Different you're different not now. really a personable person. Shit like is different. That. Yes, I am. Hold on. Yes, yes I am. No, you're not. I love people. No, you're not. I love people. <laughs> we started people. this shit, it was a bunch of young niggas that was here. Now all them niggas is gone. But these are the random ass niggas. No, they got kids. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm yeah, not the one I fucking. Sure, they fucking. Right. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? They, they shooting. They, you know, they living their lives. I, no, no. I'm not getting nobody drunk on purpose to teach you a lesson. I got Drink this liquor and let me put you in the back seat of your car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, old heads used to teach the younger guys the way shit is done. You learn how to move around, do shit with women from the older guys and shit. Man, Some of them didn't know what they was doing. Sure now. did. They how did. You know? They don't. You know? She right. Some of them they didn't. Did. I don't know how you know. I got aunts and mo- mother right. and. I got older niggas. I got jumping around. I I know older men that'll tell you they ain't know what they was doing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Right, that two of them sitting here at the table with me, lying about their damn age. <laughs> when I hear forty, I'm glad to tell you, I ain't hit it. Yet. Okay, well call me tomorrow. <laughs> when did she get to be so funny? I don't know. I think. That's why she ain't been around in a while. She, she went practicing this shit. She <laughs> took her tax money by the bigger mirror to practice <laughs> shit. Yeah, Com- well, comedy for dummies. She I woke up like this. She be YouTube and comedy. Yeah. Google comedy. There you go. Mm. I try not to say nothing to you all, but you all just go Alexa, to the extreme. what's funny? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if, if y'all, you know, I mean, we all learn differently. You know? <laughs> Don't tell that car story no more. <laughs> no, that was a non-petty. Yeah, that was a non-petty response. We hey, all learned differently. Hey, that was my life. I'm not gonna duck and dodge it, ride around it because you but don't see, agree with it. Nah, you know what? You're right. I ain't like, didn't agree my with booty, it. My booty hole is like Nola's. <laughs> Still it's a virgin. virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you know if you drink a seat? Forever virgin. Lamone. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I've heard. Don't knock until you try. No, no, I'm knocking. Don't knock shit. what? A virgin booty hole. Oh, you know, I'm knocking that. I, I don't. I don't want to try it. I, mean, I, just, I, just, I just heard. Let you know that all heard. men's perspective is different. It's a lot different. <laughs> nah, I, I don't want to try I've that. Heard. I mean, I just heard. Forty six. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I know guys. They freaky, but forty seconds with a cape on. Freaky, you know. Freak, you know. Freak, you know. I mean, finger don't really. Look, look here, man. Hey, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I don't knock nobody freaky. Cool. Tickle my prostate. I don't baby. knock nobody right. I don't knock nobody freaky, you know. <laughs> I seen that movie. What was that movie, Road Trip? And he was. They called was it. Was that Road Trip? Yeah, oh, Milk in the Prostate. The, I thought the, that was a uh, college kid. No, the college kids. Yeah, yeah but I, I thought it was yeah, that was road, road trip. trip. Okay. Yeah. With the with the, um, with the black girl, the skinny guy was with. The yeah, 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 yeah. Super pimp. Shit. 
Because I, I bought that DVD. That's a funny ass movie. No. Nah, it's a it's, it's a, a movie. Why is that forty seconds? It's a medical thing. You though. know how I watch I watch a movie three times in a row. I I watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? Huh? The black girl, the black girl that was dating the little skinny ass white boy. Oh wow! She had she used to play ball. At, funny that I know this, but she used to play um, college basketball. Mm-hmm. You know she was a model too, but um, she played college ball and messed up her knees, and she had knee replacement surgery and caught a blood clot. And it went it's a, And they killed her? Oh, wow. Road Trip? What's the name of it? It's called Road, road trip. trip. You never saw that? It's funny as hell, man. It is. It's funny as hell. It's when you go else. in for that good old prostate exam, they going to milk that <laughs> prostate, baby. They <laughs> going to get up. You going to learn all about it. And they going to tell you going to learn today. Yeah. You, you've had a prostate exam, right? Yeah. I'm not really trying to be talking about that right yeah, now. I, I see you got real quiet. I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. In my mind, it didn't happen. <laughs> For real. How often you get them a, uh, a month? Wait a month. A month? What the fuck? A year. Right. Uh, uh, international. Wait, wait. Am I the only one that sees them bi weekly or something? Yeah, you a little too freaky. You. Oh, <laughs> you, you pay for me cash? What fuck you like? I actually, My insurance would not pay for no more price. Hey, that was the reason why I got a female doctor. Because I'm like, if I got to get it, it won't be by a man. I'm sorry. You just... They got a whole enough, another way oh, to God. test that shit now. Nah. Nah. Never officially had a finger up my ass for that. But I heard the fecal test, uh, test is not as accurate. Nah, they got a they got a uh, a test. What kind of test? Oh yeah, I, I heard about it. Oh, you showed you showed in a uh, movie Road Trip. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, that shit was funny. That Boy, shit was funny. Real, I own it. Yeah, I own it. I don't know. Is, is the black girl on the cover of Road Trip? No. Nah. Yeah. Cover. Now she was an extra or something. Mm-hmm. She was just in that part with him. Hey, Stone I'm Pimp, good. his name. That was my <laughs> shit. Stone Pimp. That was that, uh, what was that white dude name from Detroit? I don't remember the name. Damn. He the did. Pimp? No, they made that song. What, what song? Stone, Kid Rock. That was Kid Rock's song. The white dude from Detroit? Yeah, that was Kid Rock's song. First I thought about him and I was like, Eminem. nope, he can't forget him. No, that was Stone Pimp. It was Stone Pimp. Yeah, I brought that. I brought that CD. Niggas talking about milk and prostate and kid rock. Wait, wait, why are you laughing, shit? I, I buy a lot of music, man. How often do you go through? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, international got a little too freaky right there. You just took your shoes off and everything. Huh? You just <laughs> comfortable. That's the dude you give a pat on. You don't shake his hand. You just give him the fist bump. You just fist bump that. Oh, okay. <laughs> they use. They do it by blood too. They take blood. For prostate, man? Mm-hmm. I ain't know about that. I heard about the I fecal. Can you can shit in the bag. The finger is accurate. <laughs> they, they do say the finger is more accurate. It is. That's right. The man. thing when you take blood, though, depending on when it's tested, depends on your test results. <laughs> on the uh, prostate thing? On all tests, actually. For real? On all, blood is only good for about an hour and a half to two hours after collection. That's why they have to when you're in the hospital and stuff, they have to continuously draw blood. Because blood is not... You can't really do any tests on after two you hours. You school for this shit, ain't you? I did. Yeah, you, you're right. Either that or you a vampire, because you know a lot about this shit. It's extremely accurate, though. I'm sorry? It's extremely accurate, though. A, a blood sample is the most accurate. I didn't say it. Well, I said depending it's on when it's general. tested. Right, there's, no, right, there's no shelf life for blood. Of course not. But but you think you do know, like especially in hospitals, that sometimes blood is drawn and it sits in the lab before it's even spun it down sometimes. On, yeah, it depends on how easy the lab is. Look at Barry White. You don't have that problem. Yeah, you probably sitting here with a whole batch of. I could see them overlooking your blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be overlooking my blood. <laughs> she don't know. 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 She why they gonna overlook his blood? I ain't gonna overlook a, a man's hey, blood. Go in, she gonna stop. Man, Joe, like real talk. Like she, like, she, she done got a few passes. Nigga, she just got I got the key in the motherfucker. We yeah. gonna turn the key at the same time, nigga, and blow her ass up. That's what's gonna happen. She gonna get it. <laughs> she like, I ain't worried. Cause I don't even know why people are upset. <laughs> like they say you all saying you all saying this stuff out loud. It's coming. 
<laughs> Kurt, you didn't. <laughs> we're Leave actually just saying so Check much. So much. I don't even know. It's like the fact that you're, you're opinionated about some shit, but you ain't giving up no information. You steady lying on yourself. She ain't, get, she ain't getting no prostate exam. She ain't getting no prostate exam. Okay, right. I mean, <laughs> she ain't getting no prostate exam. Was she born Samuel Wilson? This is 2017, guys. Right. I was born Samantha. I'm Nikki. I ain't seeing no yearbook. <laughs> seeing Sam's in that motherfucker with y'all, beards. Y'all with beards. <laughs> Yeah, I still. You notice she ain't answered about the beard thing. No, yeah. you have to step in. Like, she remembers she shaved today. Hey, I'm finna be Steezo Petty real fast. I like my beard. All right, for those who don't know, and I hope y'all do because y'all listen for a while, we have the Steezo Radio Facebook page. Not the Steezo Radio Facebook fan page. The Steezo Radio Facebook page. And one of the members who, I'm going to give him the gold status, Ronnie Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> he posted this picture and he said, which one is the mother? Now, the more I look at this photo, I'm going to pass it around. The more I look at this photo, I think Ronnie is playing a joke on us. <laughs> I think both these motherfuckers ain't the mama. Ain't the mama. They ain't the mama. I don't, think, the so. Mama. I don't think so. That's For real. Cool. I don't think so either. Yeah, you you seen that? Yeah, I've seen that picture. Yeah, I don't think neither one of these motherfuckers is the mama. Yeah, what, but what is it though? What does he post? He what? says it's no, a picture no, no. of two women. But what did you call it? A what? A what? What? What, what did I say? A photo. A photo. Yeah, a photo. <laughs> he posted, I'm sorry. He posted a pic. You know, but he posted a photo and he's saying oh, okay. which one is the mama. I have been trying to figure this out. Without being a prevert for about nine hours now. No, because, and I don't think neither one of them is the mama. There was, there was a picture yeah, posted before. It was, uh, it was three, game, though, three black women. Uh-huh. And one of them was the mother. Brown, two were twins. Man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but it I was could, three. I didn't know who the fuck the mother was. I, I, I could. That was simple. Because the, for women, we figured that one out quick. Because mm-hmm. one of yeah, them, I saw that one. The mother had different eyebrows. She had a more younger vert. Younger, her eyebrows weren't that drawn on like these young girls. And okay. What, you know. Oh, that's simple. But, but but with them two that Ronnie posted, I can't tell. Now nah, them they, they give they me sisters. twenty minutes. They both can be mothers. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they hit me off with a prostate exam. I'm, I'm working on that. Mother, I see. I don't think neither one of them are mothers. I don't think neither one of them. I think, I think, I think or they two mamas, right? Two, yeah, they drop that shit in there. They need yeah. two damn sisters. I think Ronnie running game on this one. I don't know. He had to find an answer. He no, see, I said the daughter is the taller one because the daughters always grow taller than their mom. That's the daughter. But the but if that's the daughter, she that's got a lot of ass cheeks. I didn't grow taller than my mom. That's the case. That they can't be true because the the, the, the right, great great grandchild the, gonna be motherfucking eight feet. Exactly. Because right. the chick in the green, it looks a little older, but she don't look old enough to be the mom. The mom. I don't she think, got I had think a crow's feet. If you so, zoom in a little bit. Her eyes is a little stretched. They right. see that, you they you see the goddamn day. sun just rising. They woke him up. Man, that's and and that's why I'm kind of stuck. Right, because the, cause the, the taller ass. one, you know, she's a horse. She's a horse. If I, if I had to choose the chicken to green, I think so, too. Samuel. Because she does, she looks a little older, but shit, they probably two fucking sisters. Yeah, they, I, they I got think, kids. That's I think Ronnie got us. Five years old. They both mamas. I'm saying right ribs. now. You see these ribs in this green dress? Ribs. Like this, ribs see, that's ancient. That's and ancient at its best. See? And then they I'm say, oh, well, like you just ribs is used in to rare form. But I feel like you set me up to say something smart. But the ribs ain't going nowhere. They still sticking out? No, oh, man. She right? just, she just bodied up, bro. She that's that's ass, though. Jeez. Yeah, they like like you said, they two mamas. Yeah, I think I think Ronnie set us up. The one in the black is probably a grandmother now. But that is... She is the mother. She's about 35. Yeah. She's probably a grandma. 30. No, she's someone's mother. Right. But she's that's not her, her mother. That's her daughter. The one I don't in think the black so. looks hella younger than the one in the green. The in one the in the green does have and that's, and that's why it's yeah. going to be the shock. Like, boom. No, that's that's the mama. The shock. Grandma took the picture. Mamas. Yeah, I think, they, I think they're both mamas. Mm-hmm. Great grandma mm-hmm. took the picture. Yeah. So, shout out to Ronnie. Because, yeah, you fucked me up with this one. Because I've been staring on a... You know, on a reporter level, yeah, you be clear. at this photo, you better be clear. Try to figure out who's the mama. Yeah, you better be clear about this. Yeah, camera. yeah, I got, it. I got, I got to. You, you know. petty, but you ain't that bad. 
fuck around don't get no sex no more. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we got a new photo. Yeah, X-rated. Choose one to narrate the story of your life. Oh, this is kind of good. <laughs> Who would y'all pick? I ain't even got to look. I'm sending. Not, I'm narrate, okay. Sam. I'm going to send Bill Jackson to narrate. Right. Yeah, Everybody. I'm, I'm wait, I ain't. So, he on that? So give yeah. me the choice. Yeah. I, yeah, okay, I okay, want the okay, the choices of choosing one to narrate your life. Because I know Morgan Freeman got to be on that. Yep, Morgan Freeman, Girl. Samuel Jackson, Sean Connery, and... The James. Godfather of them all, James Earl Jones. It, it's got for me. It's got to be Samuel, cause I got so many fucked up stories. I need a motherfucker in there like every three mm-mm, minutes. Mm-mm. That ain't my pick. What, what, what's your pick, Nola? My pick ain't even on that. That's if, up. Right. If, if if I had to choose the four off the list, it would be Sam. Yeah. Off that list, yeah. Samuel. Ancient. You off that list. Like I'm, I'm a fan of Morgan Freeman all day long. You know what I'm saying? But he's not the one I would pick, though. But I mean, I would pick Morgan Freeman because he's on the list. But if I had an ultimate narrator, it would be Lawrence Fishburne. Like that's just me. Lawrence Fishburne, mm-hmm. Sam Morpheus? Nichols. Yeah, what I might have to go with Morgan. Um, <laughs> exactly, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, because I feel like. Samuel, uh, he, he was, your life is born as shit. No, yes, but is, I don't clear. want Samuel yelling my life the whole time. Like, what the fuck is the movie? <laughs> right, right. they gonna be like, hell. they That's gonna why. be like, she was angry. She was always <laughs> angry. She yeah. was turning the fuck up. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 right, you know. Who you got, Shay? Like, who you, who you got out, off that I list? I got my boy Sam. Sam, go do my shit. <laughs> International. This International. Yeah. So everybody picking Samuel Jackson? I'm going for nah, Sam. No, nah, no, nah, I picked I pick Morgan. He picked Morgan. You picked Morgan. See, I'm going with James Earl. I'm not going to pick Morgan until I turn 60. Because that, that's when life's born. Now, that's, that motherfucker. Morgan. I'm going to fall asleep with Morgan. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman narrates nature. And, and boring shit. Morgan Freeman is God. He Every did Shawshank Redemption. Morgan yeah. Freeman is God, bro. And, like, come and, on, that, man. and that should be boring. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe it could cut away to the 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 the, the sad parts of my life when Morgan shows up when my dog died or something. <laughs> did or, Samuel nah. jump back in my hose? And this left. motherfucker was fucking some bitches. <laughs> Motherfucker! No. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. James Earl Jones. Hey man, like his voice so powerful. James Earl Jones. And it, it just reminds me of me. He was Darth Vader, man. Fossil. Like, come on. I couldn't. Yeah, do I'm going James, to be Fossil. Fossil. I, he he probably make me seem real hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> real hard. You know, he made me seem real hard. I don't yeah, be James coming. Earl hit them. He 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 hit them points. His voice is me. I don't think I he's for for a female, uh, right? Zuffy my Zuffy. son works. That, that right. Right <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I need Zuffy. that for me. What is this? Yeah, right. Now, if it was a me. female on this list, I don't know. I might have to pick Della Reese. You would pick Oprah. Della Reese? Mm-hmm. Because she can be funny. She can be serious. Hmm. She can be, you know, like loud. You know, sometimes when I get loud, you know, she got a slight, slight, just a. Just a pinch, just like a pinch of ratchetness, and you know what I'm saying? That's just me, just a pinch. pinch This is not your turn. (laughs) (laughs) Please. Wait till till it's your turn. All right, fellas, if it was a female voice, who would you pick? I know who I'm picking. (laughs) Who you picking, Nola? You pick Viola Davis. Who you picking, Nola? Smart. (laughs) (laughs) Who you got, Nola? See, you should read her. Jennifer Lewis. Jennifer Lewis, oh, okay, the white yeah. girl, the mama, the mama uh-uh. from Blackish. Mm. Anthony, oh, you know Jennifer Lewis yeah. loud. I love, I love that show. Mm. Okay, okay. I, I can dig it. Yeah. Wait, who you? Who you? Who, who, who you got? Ancient. Life? Who you got? A female, a female voice to, to narrate your life story. You some should. More. No, you should do the Red of the Vine. <laughs> I like that. It's some, some more. more. <laughs> like I think I, I'm gonna go with Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm going Jennifer Lewis. Oh, <laughs> angry black woman. Every fucking role she got, she's an angry black. Mm. Woman. I ain't gonna say she's angry, but she is kind of. Yeah, she's vocal. turned. <laughs> who played? Who played uh, Ricky? Ricky uh, Devoe's mama in uh, edit, uh, in the new edition movie. Oh, what yeah, was the chick name? Ricky. Ricky was slick. Oh, yeah. in the. I said to get me the lights. You know I'm trying to quit. Oh, I don't know her name. Yeah, I, I don't know her name. Who is that, man? I can't. I gotta find. Um, but she been in a bunch of stuff though. That yeah. was the black one with the. She like, oh, you see me on the phone? Mm-hmm. That was the the the, the, the chesty one. Yeah. From Where's East mama? Bayou. Where's mama? Um. She was in East Bayou. Yeah. She was. She was somebody's mistress. Remember they blackballed her. Too. Yeah, for um, a while. Mm-hmm. You Lynn Whitfield? Mm-mm. No, not her. Mm-mm. Where's Youngin when you need Google? 
No, you know what? The uh, you you remember Jason's lyric? Mm-hmm. Remember Tretch's girlfriend? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Her. Okay, that's Her. who. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hey, actually though. See, I, I picked Jada to pick his He just reminded me of something. If I what? had to renege... Jada on my voiceover. You know, we, we used to fuck around back in the day. No. So she can just do the job. You know, Because she, she know me. Like. Why you pick Why Felicia like Rashad? Because... Like and it's heavy. I like heavy how she carries herself. Who, Felicia Rashad? Yeah. But do she match you? <laughs> I think if she liked what you're ready to like... I don't, think a, I don't think a woman could <laughs> Y'all match voices me. match. <laughs> yeah, because his voice kind of deep. I'm not saying like, like he would so need he, he 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 would need a woman that smoke like nine filter cigarettes. I'm not saying cigarettes. like his voice. I'm just <laughs> saying she like could she could she really <laughs> tell your story? Yeah. Okay. Felicia Richard. Why that's, Angela? That's, my mom Still was kind of. That's how my mama. Man. I knew I knew it had something to do with your mama too. Yeah. I swear I, I did. My mama could tell my story better than anybody. <laughs> My, my mother would lie. I'm gonna tell you right lie, now. Right. My mama yeah. would lie. She would omit so much shit. Well, well, Steezo, he had uh, inter interaction with the police. She'll leave a bunch out there. He really he didn't real. steal my car. I told him. Exactly. He it, She'll leave a bunch out. Him and they my wasn't paying attention to me. My mama said a lot of court cases. <laughs> no, he didn't drink my liquor and put water in there. He didn't think I was that Mm-mm. stupid. Nah, mm-hmm. see. That's the thing. With, that's why y'all so hooked on y'all mamas. Because, see, my mama's not going to lie. And she is going to be short because she's going to be like, she got my damn nerves. <laughs> and I still don't really like her all the time. The end. One time, <laughs> she didn't bring tomatoes for my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I called her ass Della Reese today. <laughs> me, me and your mama got something in common. Yeah, I don't like your ass. I don't like your ass either. <laughs> <laughs> How they say, pew, pew. <laughs> That's all they got is a little pew, pew for me too. <laughs> Tell her what? You Tell got a new title, Sam. You the last pager. lady of the podcast. Hit my pager. <laughs> Hit your pager. Tell your mama to beat me. <laughs> Tell your mama to page me, nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, Greg. <laughs> I like the way your mama got that lined up. <laughs> they couldn't wait. They was waiting. They was. Mm-hmm. They was waiting. Next time you introduce yourself, well, here you go. This is Sam Nikki, the last lady in the podcast. As long as you're going to be the second to last lady. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm more woman than you. Oh, oh. I believe you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can keep her, man. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can. Should you start early in the back seat drinking because of uh, Seagram's gin? Mm-hmm. At least Two I was drinking. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You did it sober. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was more than one man. Yeah, you said it was more for you. You practiced early. Yeah. It's a lot of secrets coming out tonight. Open. I don't know how to feel about this right now. I'm a little, I'm a little I don't nervous. think he knew he told his secret. <laughs> that was the problem right there. And, and got bad because I picked up on the secret. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Well, we got enough time. Anybody got final thoughts on this freestyle show? <laughs> Fellas, I think we should vote get Sam yourself checked out <laughs> every other week. Every other week? Every other week. I mean, that's how on I On prostate? Okay. On prostate exams. Is your doctor female? No, he's a man. Metrosexual kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> but not homosexual. He's just, he's just oh. very clean cut, attractive man. You know. Anybody else got final uh, final thoughts? You say what? <laughs> See, don't drink gin. You know what? I'm just not. <laughs> I was trying to. Was, it was a volley. You was supposed yeah, to spike you. Well, well, you know yeah. what? That's I'm why I said I'm not. The window open. You supposed to go for yeah. it. Yeah. I'm scared of you, sucker. Come he on. He gave it to you. I, I know he, he did. did. I, but I felt like that's. I just. I'm just not gonna play with you, you like scared. that. You didn't give it to me when you was telling that story. <laughs> when you was telling that story, you was trying. You was trying. I'm telling the truth. Well, you put some fiction on it. It's a lot of. I don't think I put any fiction on it. I think you want to just make it seem like it's fiction. You just gonna take it. That's all I keep hearing. No, she's not I taking I just said it. I'm not taking it. Yeah, she's not taking it. Yeah. Let me see what kind it. of grades you got in school. Nope. <laughs> talking about the woods. What part of what part of school are you talking about? Secondary of... Uh, Girl, I don't think you went past the uh, part. <laughs> you know, first uh, shoot. Anybody else got some part of the shots? So violent. You had your period? No. <laughs> Damn, he done went menstrual. You can't get on your period. He done went menstrual. She oh, went through Lord. menopause already. Oh Lord, he didn't right. menstrual. Turn to the menstrual she was, show. She was right. Balls, Only right. women, you can't have periods with a sex change, right? Right. It's Samuel. Yeah, that's Sam. Yeah, Samuel. that's, that's... <laughs>
Any more party shots? Samuel Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Sam Nicholas. I mean, <laughs> last lady of the podcast. <laughs> All these little men's I done ruffled their little feathers. They gonna go home and cry to their mommies. My mama gonna be with me. How about you? Uh, oh, you call her. Because we know this one's calling his. My mama with her man. How about you? <laughs> so does, does that mean no more uh, pardon shots? No more. I open the floor for pardon shots and you see what y'all do to me? Uh it was so much being said. I'm just going to leave hey, it like that. Shout out to you, though. You ain't, I like how you've been keeping the same hat, the same hat dude for the last two weeks. I ain't mad at you. Is that a a compliment? or? He, he, he forever give me. <laughs> man, look, I am so I much of a fan of her natural hair, man. Like, I hate when she just be on that hat. Well, yeah, that's, that, that, but that's what I'm it. saying. That's your business? She wearing the hat. <laughs> yeah, she don't want everybody to know her hair ain't done. Right. They think Nola come down yeah, here as a fine. fox. <laughs> <laughs> they think about your hair. Nobody checking for Nola. Ooh, but her name is like Nola it. Fox. They think it means Nola Foxy. Yeah. She's still foxy. You can't tell she got a hat on with Geritol jeans. Everybody in menopause is foxy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She ain't no more you can get some all the time. Shit. <laughs> foxy. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> And you can't get pregnant no more? Oh. <laughs> Niggas is checking for you. You tripping. Niggas be selling that shit. That shit valuable. <laughs> okay, before back page get opened up again. <laughs> uh, we out. Snapchat these days. Steve's thought of the day. Man, all right, there you go. Another episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it so much that you're going to continue to share it with your family and friends and co-workers as they can join in on this silly-ass fun we be having over here at Steezo Radio Podcast. Um, the song I'm going to leave you with uh, right now is called All My Money. It's from an artist by the name of Taco off his latest CD called The Truth 2. You can get your copy of that CD on iTunes, Google Play, and Tidal. Again, this is All My Money featuring GS.
She say I'm a star and I'ma go far. But fuck all this hood fame. She's sticking that good game. Happy sounding a little lame. Yeah, but I fuck with her. Ain't hear nothing else but good luck with her.